We got the LA Clippers. What in the <laughs> world? The as, LA Clippers. As, as you asked me earlier this week, <laughs> you need to get tested. <laughs> we James, James Wiseman is coming back. And, and is he, is he, is he? So, 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 so many questions. Hips, but James really? Wiseman is coming back. Okay. He's coming back. Okay. He's going to be I, healthy I so. and he's going to be a dominant force. And you know what? I'm going to go one step further. And Jason Tatum. See, Tatum, I'm with you, man. Tatum. Okay, he's a, he's a Duke guy. That's my guy. He's Duke. Okay. Oh, but. Oh, is he? But, but you call him Tragic Tatum? And what was the other name? Because he. Because he lost. But he's a Duke guy. Okay. Because right. he okay. lost. Right. But anyway, Tatum is going to win the MVP. Oh, my gosh, man. Yes. Yes, I got you. I got you, Tatum. He is going to win the MVP of this year. That's how he's going to come and put this uh, NBA on notice. We're going to dominate this season. <laughs> Bye. This is former Chicago Bear Desmond Clark. And y'all hear me on many podcasts, but when y'all hear me on Pick'em Pros, y'all know it's all about family. This ain't just business. Everything's going my way. We're coming back tonight. We're coming back tonight. We're going to tie it up 2-2, go back to Golden State, then 3-2, three, three, then we're going to control the series. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You know who it is. I am Derek Thompson. And I'm Diego Thompson. And who are we? We're the Pick 'em Pros. We're the Pick 'em Pros coming back at you in the house. We're coming at you from Raleigh, North Carolina, from the headquarters of TNT Creative Group, our sponsor, digital media company. They are a company that's on the rise, company to look out for. They provide all things custom digital media. All right. Well, we are going to get into our top five NBA teams based off of the current roster, um, current free agency uh, moves that they've made so far. So this is what, July 7th, yep. right, 2022. So there's been some moves made by teams. We know teams are still going to make some moves. So we're going to give you our top five based off of the free agency moves, the current roster. We'll also probably take in maybe some injury um, consideration there as we make our predictions, but we're going to give you our top five list. But before we do that, um, I see my man here, Diego, my co-host, uh, 12 year old oh, yeah. guru here. He, and also my son, he is going to, he's happy and excited because oh, yeah, yeah. you're, I understand your, um, your championship pick mm -hmm. for this year, the Golden yeah. State Warriors was correct. Yeah. My championship pick, the team that happens to be also my favorite, my, my favorite team for my whole life. Okay. So, so does I that, that really count? Yeah. Well, 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 all the, well, all depends on them winning, right? Okay. It's all about all, right. all about them winning. Okay. Your it, it was your pick lost, and my team won. Okay. So that's that's just how it went. All right, all right. That's just how it went. Okay. All right. So you're gonna show your gear, man. Yep, yep. We've got the hat. We got the championship hat. Okay. We got the shirt. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. I have Looking stuff nice. jersey that I recently got. And of course, I just have this Larry O'Brien mm -hmm. trophy mm -hmm. that I've been that I've had for the last couple of years because last that's all we do. Years, we get Larry right. O'Brien trophies. Okay, okay. So how how'd you get all this gear, man? What's going on? You have a financier? Yes, my financier, mummy. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, mommy. all right. So mm -hmm. I just want to know where where is my gear? I don't get I don't get championship. Yeah, you don't get any gear. You're I, a mystery cookie. Anything. We don't know what you want, man. Mystery. <laughs> mystery. I I am mystery. an objective. Analyst, but I still should You're get a mystery. To, I get still should get to share in the love. Well, you have family, to get man. your own gear. Okay, that's how yes, I do. You have to get your man. own gear. Dad, dads yes. across the world. That that's how they do it. Sorry. All, right. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into our top five NBA teams uh, for next year based off the current moves and free agency. Why don't you, since you're riding high? I uh, see so you got your notes here. You got your list, man. Yeah, go, I got my own. Yeah, I got my own. I got all the stuff. Okay, well, so, go, go ahead and give us your list. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm going to start 5-1. to one. Of course. So, at, at, at number 5, I got the Dallas Mavericks. Okay. Yeah, the Mavericks. You know, they have Luka, who, is what, who, who, in my opinion, is probably the third best player in the NBA right now, mm. based off what he's done. Okay. And, they, and they didn't overpay Brunson, which would take off a lot of their salary cap space yeah. to be able to make moves. Like and they that. are, and they recently signed Luca to a big extension. Yeah. So I think not overpaying, not overpaying was a big, um, was a big deal. Okay. And and they also brought in uh, Javale McGee, yes. who had lots of that championship experience. He's won championships with the Warriors, Steph, and with LeBron. So he knows about winning championships with great players. Okay. So you never know, maybe Luca might get a championship. <laughs> and <Right>. um, <laughs> and, and they brought in Christian Wood. Who's like a that. who? Yeah, who can be sent center, power forward, at, who, and he can also shoot threes, which is sort yeah. of a pro. And Luca, Luca doesn't really have a great three point percentage, so I think that he'll he'll really help him out with that category. Okay. All right. So okay. number four, I got your Boston Celtics. Uh, what? I'm a four. A Boston Celtics four. Yes, at four. After they've gone to the finals, Ooh, have a strong core, whippy. didn't lose any of their core, and they added two great pieces, and you're dropping them to four? Ooh, okay. I, I, I have to hear the explanation. Well, well I didn't story. drop them. Mm. I didn't drop them okay. to anything. Okay. okay. So, okay, so one. I got, I, okay, suck. So, I think Tatum and Brown are going to have a bounce back here. Um, lots of people yes. don't aren't really believing in them because of how they um, got deflated in fine. the Warriors and in the, in the Warriors area. So it, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they'll be fine. Okay. All so right. and then Tatum was first team All NBA last year. I don't know if he'll be first team All NBA again next year, mm -hmm. but I feel like he he still he still will be a great player yeah. in the league. Um, they got uh, they brought they they have a true point guard now, Malcolm Brogdon. Um, he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, sh yeah, you can shoot. You can facilitate. Damn. So he's really a good fit for them to just get um Brown and Tatum, yes. um, the shots instead Great of instead up. of them bringing the ball up the court every single time. Yep. And it allows the defensive player of the year, Marcus Smart, mm -hmm. to to come off the to either come off the bench or maybe play shooting guard or maybe affect the rotation yeah. of the starting five. So that so that, so that could that could work very well. And yeah. Robert Williams is going to be healthy. Yes. Yeah, Ooh, he, he's going to be healthy. Um, he's wow. he's definitely he's, effective. He will definitely be effective when healthy. So um, that's why I have them at four. Hmm. But that, the reason. So, so, so you say that's why you have them at four. It sounds like those are all the reasons why they should be higher. But okay, okay, we'll but, see. I'll let but, you get to the rest of your list. Okay, you got, I, I kind of an explanation. Will you not, let me finish my explanation? Okay, okay. All right. I'm gonna continue. So number three, the reason I brought the Celtic to number three or higher is because of Giannis Antetokounmpo. The guy who I say is the best player in the NBA right now right. over my guy Steph. So I'm being unbiased. I, I agree uh, so I'm being that. unbiased. Tell the world I'm unbiased. So I got so Giannis, he's the best player in the NBA. Um, two years ago in the finals, mm -hmm. he got, I think it was like 50, 12, and 8 in the closeout game in Milwaukee to win it all. Um, a Mil Chris Middleton, their, all -star, their other all star, is going to be back. Um, he wasn't there for the Boston series, and yeah. he still won seven games. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so, so is that. Drew Holiday still there. And they re-signed Bobby Portis. My guy. Big deal. Oh, My guy. Everyone's your guy, man. <laughs> That's the thing. Everyone's your guy. Damn. They re-signed yeah, re Bobby Portis. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, just think Gian, I just think Giannis Middleton, Drew Holiday will just be a little too much for Celtics, especially defensively. Because Giannis won a defensive player of the year. Okay. Smart has too, but I mean, he's still going against Drew Holiday, which is one of the better defensive players in the league. Okay. One of the best. Um, I'm going to move on. So number two, I've got the LA Clippers. What in the <laughs> world? The as, LA Clippers. As, as you asked me earlier this week, <laughs> do you, <laughs> you need to get tested. <laughs> What? The Clippers? They didn't even make the playoffs. Well, there's a lot of reasons why they didn't make the playoffs. Ooh, okay. okay. Go ahead, school So, us. Okay, so Paul George mm -hmm. will be healthy. He only played 24 games last season. Will he? And, and I'm saying he, he only missed 20. He, well, no, he played 24 mm -hmm. games last season. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, and he was out. Keep this in mind. He was out for that last playing game against the Pelicans. Yeah. I, I, 
And it was still a close game. Mm -hmm. I feel like if he had been there, then they then they would have made the playoffs. And hey, maybe they would have even beat the Suns. But I'm not gonna go with that. So, okay. um, and then the, and then of course Kawhi Leonard, who who last time he played was a top five player in the NBA. Some okay. people said he was the best player in the NBA. Can, oh. can, can he return to that? Possibly. Is he and, gonna play this year, or is he gonna continue to rehab? He gonna take another year off? Well. well well, he already missed the whole year with a partially torn ACL. Okay. So I think he'll be fine. So anyway, <laughs> right. I, I've never heard of a partially torn. It's I've, either I've fully torn or, a, or not torn I've at never all. Heard of a but that, that's torn just ACL really, either, so. I don't know. That's but, kind of yeah, interesting. Okay. But then um, they have Ty Lu, who is one of the best coaches in the NBA. Mm -hmm. uh, and he and, and just, he'll, he'll have he's a great coach. His like dynamic him. duo, mm -hmm. Paul Jordan and Kawhi, too. Two mm -hmm. all possibly all NBA players on mm -hmm. the same team, and the John Wall bonus. He, I'm not going to count fully on John Wall okay. because he has a high. Because I am not betting. I'm not betting that he'll finish the season healthy. Yeah. Um, but um, but but if he gives them anything at all, then it's really a bonus. Yeah, for them. That's that'll, true. That'll, that'll, I'll help them. Yeah. Uh, and and it's, uh, Reggie Jackson, who yeah. who gets My who's in there? Like yeah, Reggie Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, well, now I'm going to move on to my number one. No surprise here. Reigning champs, Warriors, San Francisco. Ah, we're getting another one of these. Homer Simpson. You can say Homer, Homer all Simpson. you want. I don't care. Okay, so the Warriors. Uh, of course, they're the reigning champs, right? They, they might have lost Gary Payton and Otto Porter, mm -hmm. but yes. we have filled those positions well, we we have James James Wiseman is coming back and is and he? <laughs> is, is he is he is he so so, so, so many questions hips, right? but James Ooh. Wiseman is coming back okay he's coming back okay. he's going to be I, healthy I so. and he's going to be a dominant force mm. he's seven one and he's just he's he's going to be dominant because that's what he does mm. and um we we, you know, we re signed Looney who was a who was a key part to our team played okay. all one hundred and five. Games. You had to bring Looney back. Yeah, we had to bring him back. Yep. Steph, I feel like, is the second best player in in the NBA right now, uh, behind Giannis. Mm. But yeah, but yeah, we we got Dante Divincenzo, guy with um, championship experience who can back up, <laughs> who can be a backup guard. So um, okay. so yes, and we're bringing Pool and Riggins back, mm -hmm. and Clay is gonna be even more healthy. Cause he, cause he was hot. He was hobbling. He was coming off t an ACL and an Achilles on two different legs. So now he's gonna come back yeah. a little more healed yeah. with with just more experience. I hope so. I, I, I hope so. I, my only concern about Clay is that he is older now. So I don't think that it's a guarantee that he's gonna be the old Clay. I, I really hope he is. Hey, he's a Thompson. I got his dad's autograph when I was a kid. Um, oh, no, I really like Clay. I love his heart. I hope he can. Um, I'm just a little concerned about that. But, yeah, but. I feel like he'll, he'll, he'll regain his consistency. I don't know if he'll be able to be the same defensive player, but I think uh -huh. he'll improve defensively. I don't know if he'll be able to be the same, uh -huh. but defensive wise, but still, he's, I think he's going to get better okay. and that's going to help our chances. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's – well, I, I don't yes. know. We have a lot of the same teams, but the Clippers I don't have. Uh, again. You don't have I, them on your list at all? No. Oh, no, my gosh. I don't have them in my top five. They have two all-NBA all players. Yeah, are, are they going to play? Okay. I yes, mean, they're healthy. First of all, okay. They're healthy. Paul, Paul. And they have one of the best coaches in the NBA. <laughs> Okay, they, oh my that God, is true. man. I, and they have John Wall, who like, a huge uh, bonus I like He's a great coach. But, okay, Paul George um, has two bad shoulders, and that's something that continues to pop up. Okay, they basically made the playoffs. I, I with, don't know if I the, trust with, the health there. Kawhi, don't know if I trust the health there. I just don't think they're going to stay healthy. But um, the potential is seen, sky high. The potential is there, but I, that's, that's just a whole lot of potential and not enough of just looking at the trends. They haven't. They haven't been healthy the whole time. I thought so the Clippers should have won the champion this year. I thought the Clippers should have won the championship in um, 2021. Yeah. Um, but um, so Kawhi, and they they're about to win it. I feel like mm -hmm. they um almost uh, uh, 
Uh, they yeah. lost the Suns in seven, I believe, without Kawhi. Yeah. But uh, yeah, still, yeah, if you can, but... yeah, still, if you can get both of those guys back when yeah. they basically made the playoffs without yeah. either one of them, hey, and like, and they're adding John Wall, who could, who, I'm not counting on to be good do something. Yeah. And Ty Lue is just going to continue to be the yeah. coach he is. There, there's no question they have the talent on the roster to win. There's that's not debatable. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, will they be around? You say they will, so you have them number two. I say they won't because they haven't in all the years that they've been together, so they're not my top five, but that's all right. You know, different I, list, different list. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all the cares. correct list. Nobody How about cares that? About you ready for list. that? Okay. <laughs> Nobody cares about my okay, list. Okay, fine. Right. I'll, I'll well, listen. I guess I'll listen. <laughs> Let me quickly give you my list here of my top five going into the next season based off of current roster construction again so much can change who knows where kd is going to go so a lot of this can change you may have to come back and do this tomorrow who knows but um so many honorable mentions it was so tough to pick number five that was the hardest one i mm -hmm. mean um, you have memphis who's been on the come up you have the miami heat who was the number one seed last year went to the east conference finals you have the philadelphia 76ers who is consistently going to be there as long as Embiid is around. You have the New Orleans Pelicans, who now will hopefully, <laughs> if, right, have Zion. Yep. That'll be a big <laughs> boost for them. Yeah. Um, but again, I don't know if Zion's going to stay healthy. So a lot of ifs. And then Phoenix. Phoenix, again, has the talent, but what's going to happen with their big man? What's going to happen with Aiden, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's just so many ifs. So because of all that, I picked that the Dallas Mavericks as my number five, as you did, yeah. um, because I feel like I know what I'm getting from Dallas more than any of those other teams that I mentioned. So because of that, I have the Mavericks. Then the acquisition of Christian Wood, it was a great pickup. And then JaVale McGee, two solid pickups. Great coach uh, with, with Jason Kidd. feel like Luka is going to continue to evolve. Hopefully Luka shows up in shape, tip-top shape to start the season. And I think that'll be great. Um, and hopefully he can be injury-free going through the year. And um, we'll see what happens. But they made it to the Western Conference Finals um, this past year. And we'll see what happens. See what happens uh, this year. So I have them at number five yeah. for that. Yeah, Luca. he's playing He's playing in the FIBA World Cup for mm -hmm. Slovenia. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. next year he'll so come back. Will he come back, come back ready to roll. So Dallas is my number five. My number four. Ooh, I have my boys oh, who you don't seem to have on your list. But I have them on my list, and I have them going to the Western Conference Finals. The Minnesota Timberwolves. Oh, man, they're on their way. Minnesota Timberwolves are coming, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. You think it's Memphis. You think it's these other teams. But you're not paying attention. Some more you are paying attention to them now that they picked up Gobert. And a lot of you think that they gave up too much for him. But they, they did. But they actually did not. They are very talented, uh, very deep first team. Round picks All of my Minnesotians out there know what we're dealing with. There still are a bit of a secret. And Anthony Edwards, oh, man, is going to have a monster season. Probably make the all-star team. And they are going to... Uh, make big waves this year. They are my number four team. All right. My number three, Milwaukee Bucks. Okay. They are, yeah. there's no question about Milwaukee and their greatness. I feel that if they were at full strength this year, they probably would have won the championship. Mm -hmm. um, nah. So, again, nope. Milwaukee Bucks, uh, they are um, undeniable, undisputed. They are a great team and they will be back ready to roll and they've, they've made some solid pickups as well to fit within the construction of their roster so they're going to be a problem they're going to be tough to deal with i have them at number three uh definitely going to the eastern conference finals my number two i have your golden state warriors oh um, my gosh yeah. that's an insult uh, i'm insulted number two i'm insulted. i was in an insult at number two i i I am deeply. I have them. Man. I have them you, winning the Western Conference like and going back you, to the. How is that an insult? Because you don't have them at number one. Uh, no, I don't. I think no, I basically don't. everyone else <laughs> no, watching this they show. They lost they Gary Payton the second. Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. They lost Otto Porter Jr. Otto Porter. We got mm -hmm. draft picks. We got we we, we oh, Wiseman's coming back. 
DiVincenzo? No. no. Don't sleep on DiVincenzo, no. man. That's, that's, Di that's like, not enough. That's not enough. I Di would, Vincenzo again, with free agency. On with a free championship agency, team. What, what I will say is if you guys shock the world and you bring KD back, then I think you'll win the championship. Oh, this year. I don't really, I, I don't really out, think I don't outside really of want that. KD, man. And I feel you. I, I, I feel you. Because then that's going to create a whole lot of other drama. But that's the only way I feel that the Warriors will win the championship this upcoming season. Uh, I think it's too difficult to repeat. Um, I don't, the, the Draymond dynamic and him continuing to um, just kind of be the way Draymond is. I don't know how sustainable that is going to be. Uh, again, I have them as the second best team, so it's no shot, I don't think. But um, they are just the number two team, in, in my opinion. And my number one team going into the 2023 season are your Boston Celtics. I feel All like right. the pickups that Gosh. they have made are the perfect pickups to match with their core. They will have another year under their belt. They're going to come in seething and serious from how that season ended. And they are going to be or on a mission. Or they might come back sad and depressed. They're going to be on a mission. And you know what? I'm going to go one step further. And Jason Tatum. See, Tatum, I'm with you, man. Tatum. Okay, he's a, he's a Duke guy. That's my guy. He's Duke. Okay. Oh, but, oh, is he? But but you called him Tragic Tatum? And what was the other name because you he, because he lost. But he's a Duke guy. Okay. Because right. he okay. lost. Right. But anyway, Tatum is going to win the MVP. Oh, my year. gosh, man. Yes. Yes, I got you. I got you, Tatum. He is going to win the MVP of this year. That's how he's going to come put this uh, NBA on notice. We're going to dominate this season. <laughs> Bye. The Boston Celtics are going to win. All right. <laughs> All right. So that concludes our top five for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. Um, thank you for all those that are commenting and subscribing. We are having a ball going back and forth, forth and talking with you. It's all in good fun. Uh, so keep the comments coming. Continue to uh, share this with your friends. Uh, we're having a ball doing this, me and my little man here, Diego. So thanks for watching. Big shout out to Tavares Jordan. Uh, that's our guy, uh, producer extraordinaire out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. You're going to hear one of his tracks on the outro here. So until next time, pick them pros. We are out. We need to get tested. <laughs> <laughs>